We're shaking people. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Cocteau Twins. And we're going back to the Lullabies EP, 1982. Luca looks very comfortable. I'm going to let her sit there for a second. Uh, but the next tune is called Alas Dies Laughing. It's a really interesting phrase. It seems a little, not at odds with itself, but running in different directions. Alas, generally it's used to indicate, you know, some disappointing circumstances where something that you may want to be the case cannot be or is not. Um, so alas, you know, poor Yorick, he, he's passed away. Uh, to once again quote Shakespeare, the second video in a row where I've ended up talking about Shakespeare. Uh, yeah, but alas, poor Yorick, perhaps the most famous usage of the word. Uh, but dies laughing, you know, obviously dying laughing has this really odd um, tension to it where you're doing something that is perhaps the most clear and unmitigated expression of human enjoyment or um, amusement, but to do that or to die while doing that is, you know, it feels like, well, I guess if you're going to go, that's one of the better ways to do it, but it's still a very weird outcome to die doing the thing that most humans would want to do if, you know, given the chance. So. Um, it's such a funny phrase. Now, again, by this point, I do understand that Cocteau Twins, especially the early stuff, it's not so much about the lyrics. They may uh, paint a scene or at least suggest a mood and an atmosphere, um, but there may not be a clear beat-by-beat -beat narrative uh, to follow. But Alas Dies Laughing, it just has this really interesting and odd semantic slash syntactic um, sense to it or configuration. So. Let's find out what it is. This is Cocteau Twins, Alas Dies Laughing, from the 1982 uh, EP, Lullabies. Uh, bit creepy, bit unsettling. Long shadows. So again, thinking about garlands to head over heels and this being between. Ugh. Sort of a jet wah to it also.
it's just as wicked is the word. And also like What was the full phrase though? It's like about a neighbor. felt closer to the full atmosphere on Garland's where it's, you know, banshees about and scary shadows and spider webs and so on. It really had this dark um, and unsettling forest type of feel. Um, admittedly, this one, it felt like there was that one phrase, which I couldn't catch the full thing, like, especially the beginning. It felt like the end of it, when it was the full phrase, was maybe our neighbor or something like that, but I, I couldn't hear... Um, clearly, and then in that last part, it was just repeating the first part of the phrase. Uh, so again, lyrically, not quite sure what's happening, um, and I didn't hear, as far as I know, uh, the title phrase, uh, but again, maybe I just missed it. I do enjoy that little, it's not even vibrato, like, I don't even know what you call it, it's like this weird, like, shimmy, it's, you know, it almost reminds me, and this is not meant as a, um, a criticism, but it reminds me of that, you know, kind of when goats do that where they warble their voice a little bit, it like has that same like choppiness or staccato like nature to it. So um, it's a really cool thing. And it's, again, I've heard some interesting vocal um, flourishes from different singers. I've heard some great vibrato. I don't know if I've ever heard anything like that. So really cool vocals once again, even if I can't pick up on the lyrics. Um, and yeah, as I said, it, it felt very, you know, it could have been on Garland's. It had that kind of feel just dark and ominous and foreboding um so yeah another cool track with lots of atmosphere um you know as if I got, i've gotten older and you know people who follow the techno mixes i put out i'm into dissonant music i like dark music i like uplifting and euphoric music too i like a lot of different things but um yeah dark and brooding and a bit menacing these are all things i enjoy in a number of different musical pathways so um yeah i'm enjoying the cocteau twins ride once again uh shout out to han solo for sharing this i apologize luca i do have to pick you up at this point we'll put her straight onto my chair she seems to object less when i do that in any case let me know what you think i'll see you next time peace